Molecular imaging is very exciting. They, they call it the future of nuclear medicine. It allows us to characterize and visualize biologic processes at the molecular level, at the cellular level, in humans, in intact humans. So this has enormous patient relevance and how we're going to be able to take care of patients in the future. Petnet is the largest manufacturer of radio pharmaceuticals. They supply 800,000 doses per year to 2,800 sites around the world. We manufacture those products here from start to finish and distribute them throughout Southern California. We picked this place, Loma Linda University, because um, of the location and also the expertise Loma Linda has in oncology, in radiology, and molecular imaging. We wanted a partner that we could collaborate with on those, um, in those fields. With PetNet coming on campus, it is a unique opportunity for our students to be able to participate in molecular imaging because we do have a production facility. We have two state-of-the-art cyclotrons where we produce F18 that we tag to sugar molecules that are used for imaging. Our typical day, we start at 9 p.m., getting the cyclotrons ready, cleaning the hoods, preparing for production. We have different chemistry modules that we use each day. Like today, for instance, we're making Actiumin. So we use part of the F18 for FDG, part of it for Actiumin. It goes through a separate chemistry module, and then it, both products are run through a series of QC tests before they are drawn up and released and distributed throughout Southern California. When you stand back and look at the scale of it, it seems impossible, but we basically do the impossible every day and it's, it's an exhilarating process. When we partnered with PetNet and we brought cyclotrons on campus so that we could produce these short-lived radioisotopes and produce these um, PET agents, the new radio tracers, the administration decided, well, we really needed to build out a research radiochemistry lab, and that's what we did. We work uh, very closely with PetNet Pharmacy. Uh, they are very next to our uh, radiochemistry lab. Presence of PetNet on the campus really helps us to get reliable radioisotopes, especially the short-lived isotopes, uh, C11 and F18, um, and also to uh, troubleshoot some of our equipment. One of the things that Loma Linda has always been um, a leader in, in the field has been in um, clinical research. And we are participating currently in a couple of different clinical trials, including the IDEAS uh, study, uh, which involves um, doing some imaging with um, Alzheimer's patients or suspected Alzheimer's patients looking for beta amyloid plaque. And the hope is that uh, if they are able to find that for these patients, they could start treatment much earlier and really change their outcome for the better. There are a lot of breakthroughs. There are a number of agents that are in clinical trials here in the U.S. as well as in Europe. It's a, it is a really important time and it's important that Loma Linda has developed this program so that we can participate and our clinicians and our students can be part of the program. When we think of all the thousands of lives we're touching, we've all had family members or people we know affected by cancer, so it's important that we do all we can to help them. And a, a colleague of mine, as he's packing up the doses, he'll read the patient's name and slide it down and say, I hope this is good news for Mr. So-and-so. And that's, I thought that was a nice way of looking at it. The, what we're doing is impacting lives, and that's definitely something that makes it's easier to get up in the morning.